Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Time to do a showcase video on Ryan Harper's 1 6 scale custom Halloween 2018 Michael Myers head sculpt. And I'm going to be using this kind of kit bashed figure. It's got the Trick or Treat Studios coveralls, t shirt, uh, Shadow Fergo knife. You can find Shadow Fergo on Instagram, does real metal knives, incredible work. Here's a link, well, here's a Instagram picture of Ryan Harper's account that's the dude who made the head sculpts so you can pause that check the name find him on Instagram send him a message and order a head sculpt if you're interested and just wanted to have some fun that's the body that I'm actually using thanks to Nick uh, for advising you know different one six scale bodies that you can use and have the trick-or-treat studios hands and boots click into the joints and everything works so that was the body here's a really cool picture about to go in the doorway, put a little glint on the knife as well. But main star of the show here is Brian Harper's sculpt. It's just absolutely incredible. I really still can't believe that he nailed it as hard as he did with this 2018 mask. It's really difficult to replicate. I mean, especially in 1-6 scale. Trick or Treat Studios, you know, Justin Mabry and Alex Ray, they did an incredible job and I love that one. But this is like custom made by a guy who's you know hasn't even been doing this a year he's a tattooist i think he's 28 years old so ryan harper is really showing some incredible talent early on i love this picture now the diorama that's made by my buddy glenn page at cult creations you can find cult creations on instagram and facebook and uh, there's a youtube channel as well but glenn's awesome he can make anything like any movie diorama you want he can pretty much make it he's a bit of a legend already yeah, close up look there at one of Shadow Fergo's knives. Absolutely awesome work. Added the glint myself, obviously, on my phone afterwards. Uh, love the skin tone that Ryan Harper used for the skin around the eyes. The double bend in the elbow of that body I showed you that flashed up on the screen. Um, double bend in the elbow is absolutely necessary for Michael Myers. Really nice shot here of Ryan's head sculpt. Beautiful paintwork, the age, the, I mean, just everything about that, man. The tip of the nose. Uh, I was trying to get it to look like Michael Myers is coming up the stairs for a change, so did my best with that. But the main point is the mask looks great. And Tanila's coveralls designs used by Trick or Treat Studios have worked out really well for the figures. Great coveralls. Um, now that hand with the blood on it holding the knife, that's not really the hand I'd use full time for this figure I've got a bunch of hands I just fancied that one at the time because it had blood on it and I was like eh, I'm going to use that for this photo session so if that hand bothers you because the skin tone may not be exactly the same as his neck for instance it's kind of a stand in hand until I find a better one I've got quite a few but that shot there the mask looks terrifying and that's the main thing as well as well as trying to go for accuracy you've got to make sure it's scary as well and 2018 mask is right up there with the 78 original mask for me. I absolutely love that H40. I can't wait for Halloween kills, man. It's not, you know, what's it, six months away, maybe? And I am pumped. But absolute honor to get to showcase Ryan's work here. Amazing stuff. And Glenn Page's diorama, obviously, just bringing everything to life. And the diorama doesn't actually have a roof. That was actually just like a food tray <laughs> that I put on top of the diorama to give the appearance of a ceiling. Uh, really nice shot there of Ryan's work. Great work with the hair as well, man. Can't stress that enough. His work with the hair is its amazing. And I've seen a lot of custom heads. And I have quite a few 2018 custom heads in 1-6 scale. And I've got to say, you know, between this head sculpt by Ryan and the Trick or Treat Studios head, which I've recently done a repaint on. Those are my two go-to heads. Um, I mean, just look at that. It's incredible. When I posted some of these pictures on Instagram, a few folks were saying that they, when they were first scrolling, they were a you know, life-size dude. They thought it was a real thing. I mean, absolutely incredible. So, like I said, really early days in Ryan's career as a custom head sculptor and painter, but... I mean, this early out of the gate, producing this kind of accuracy and this kind of work. I can't wait to see where he goes in a few years' time. So, another cool shot. Another awesome look at Glenn Page's amazing work on the diorama in the background with the framed pictures. That diorama was all based on the 78. 
uh, movie, the classic scene where he comes up the stairs and Laurie thinks that she killed him. She's talking to the kids and the classic shot where he's standing by the window. That's what this whole diorama was based on. Even down to the blue uh, drapes there, whatever you call them. But that's pretty much the end of the video, folks. I hope you've enjoyed it. Like I said, check out Ryan Harper on Instagram. I showed you a picture of his Instagram account at the beginning of the video, so you can always pause that and check it out. And check out Cult Creations. And just a great time to be a Halloween fan, man. So many cool things coming from NECA for Halloween Kills and Trick or Treat Studios and all the rest of it. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it, folks. I hope you did. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. Keep it well and looking after each other. Enjoy the hobby. I'll see you soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye.